So uh, to, to find the volume of this first term, let me draw a, a, a very good figure for this, all right? So here is my, and uh, let's say this is of height uh, h, and the radius of the lower circle, let's say it is r1, and similarly radius of the upper circle, let's say is r2, and the slanted height of this is, let's say, uh, l. Okay, so this is the information given from the first term and we need to now find out the volume from these given information. But it's really difficult uh, finding out the volume without doing some construction here. All right, so for that what we're going to do, we're going to uh, complete the cone. All right, so let's complete the cone. So here is our now complete cone and uh, now uh, after completing we get actually two cone here. Uh, one is this whole big cone and another is in a small cone here at the top which is just being added to the first term all right which has actually cancelled while cutting off the main this big cone so uh, after getting this big cone uh, let me suppose uh, l1 is the slanted height of this big cone all right let's say the height of this cone is uh, let's say h1 all right and now uh, let me give the name to this two cones let's say this is a b c and the upper cone is let's say b dash and c dash let's say this is o and this is o dash this point particular point okay so now to find out the volume of this first term this particular reason it's very easy now we'll just write the volume of the first term b b dash c dash c all right i mean this region this region okay will be equals to uh, volume of the cone volume of big cone which is the big cone here cone a b and c all right volume of cone a b c minus volume of cone smaller cone here this particular smaller cone that is a b dash c dash all right a b dash c dash so the volume of the big cone minus volume of the smaller cone will be the volume of this particular first term okay so now what is the volume of a cone and volume of the cone everybody know that is 1 by 3 pi r square h all right so the same formula i'm going to apply for the big cone as well as for the smaller cone okay so your volume of the big cone will be again 1 by 3 pi r square so the uh, radius of the big cone is r1 okay so it will be r1 square and height of this this hole is the height which we have imagined like h1 all right minus uh, volume of the smaller cone and the volume of the smaller cone is again 1 by 3 pi r square right here r is this one for the smaller cone that is r2 square r2 square times h and now if you see the h in this small cone then the height is this particular part all right <clears throat> and this particular height if you see uh, then this is the complete is h1 and this is h so this will be definitely h1 minus h all right so what i can write here that this height is uh, h1 minus h so this will be h1 minus h and this is the volume of the first term but here something is unknown you know this h1 and h1 is unknown things so we have to write this unknown because h1 we had imagined initially you know h1 we had imagined l1 we had imagined so we need to express this h1 into the form of non non things here we need to convert h1 into uh, non things non is actually we know h we know here r1 we know here r2 and we know over l so if we can convert this h1 into non things you know uh, then all things in our volume will be non because we know r1 we know r2 right pi value we know and we know value of h but we don't know value of h1 so we are going to convert the value of h1 for that look at here properly i'm going to show you something here if you see triangle a o dash c dash triangle a o dash c dash is actually similar to triangle a o c triangle a o c how let me show you here uh, this is a right circular cone so definitely this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree so in both triangle 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 a o dash c dash and triangle a o c right one angle is 90 degree and next one if you see in triangle a o c this angle and in triangle bigger one this angle both have the common angle so now two angles are equal so definitely the third angle uh, will be equal 
so this is similar by angle 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 rule all right so since these are similar so what i can say that the side should be proportional so uh, this side a o dash all right this side a o dash over this a o should be proportional with uh, let's say side uh, o dash c dash side o dash c dash over o c similarly should be proportional with a c dash all right a c dash over this complete which is uh, a c all right so now let's try the values of everything so a o what do you mean by a o dash that's actually the height we recently find out that is h1 minus h all right that's that's h1 minus h and over the a o and a o we have already imagined from here to here that is h1 all right this complete is h1 so i'm going to write this is h1 and is equals to now o dash c dash what is o dash c dash o dash c dash is actually the upper radius which is r2 and oc oc is the lower radius which is r1 and equals to now a c dash okay so a c dash is actually the slanted height of the upper cone and uh, you know this complete is l1 and this is l so this will be definitely this slanted height just this slanted height will be l1 minus l all right so this is going to be l1 minus l divided by ac and ac is l1 we had supposed ac and a b both are equal which is l1 all right so it is l1 and in our first term volume formula we need h1 you know so since we need h1 so we have to convert h1 into the non forms all right so if you see here h1 is only unknown things and h r2 r1 all are known things so from this relation i can convert h1 into the non things so this time h1 over h1 minus h over h1 will be equals to r2 over r1 and this will cancel up you will get 1 minus h over h1 equals to r2 over r1 and now if i'll bring it this side it will be 1 minus r2 over r1 and this will go on other side so it will be h over h1 all right so this is going to be now r1 minus r2 divided by r1 equals to h over h1 and now what i'm going to do i'm going to write h1 this side and this here and this will be there okay so it's going to be now h1 will come here all right and r1 will multiply this h so it will be h r1 divided by now r1 minus r2 will come downstairs so it will be r1 minus r2 i just did the crossing and here i expressed h1 into the non form i know h i know r1 i know r1 and r2 both so uh, now we can easily replace that volume so it's going to be now 1 by 3 pi r1 square and now what is h1 we recently find out our h1 is h r1 divided by r1 minus r1 all right h uh, h r1 then r1 minus r2 again minus 1 by 3 pi all right r2 square h1 minus h so we know already h1 that is h r1 let me write this okay this is h r1 divided by r1 minus r2 minus h okay here if you see you can take 1 by 3 pi and 1 by 3 pi as a common so 1 by 3 pi will come outside common and this things is actually h times r1 cube divided by r1 minus r2 minus again this uh, this is r2 square and when this r2 square let me first this solve right we'll multiply this h r1 minus h r1 minus r2 divided by r1 minus r2 and again this will be h r1 cube divided by r1 minus r2 minus r2 square this is h r1 minus h r1 and this minus will multiply this minus it will be plus h r2 right and divided by r1 minus r2 and then bracket close here h r1 and h r1 will cancel up and now you'll get 1 by 3 pi h r1 cube divided by r1 minus r2 h r2 whole cube divided by r1 minus r2 all right and now you can take common h and h from both part so it will be 1 by 3 pi h and you'll be left with r1 cube r2 cube divided by r1 minus r2 
and now we can use the formula of a cube minus b cube there all right and the formula of a cube minus b cube is a minus b all right a square plus uh, a b plus b square this is the formula of a cube minus b cube so r1 minus r2 this and this will cancel up and you'll get uh, 1 by 3 pi h r1 square r2 square plus r1 r2 all right this is the volume of the first term here we get it we know now h we know r1 we know r2 we know everything you know so if you if you you know in the first term you know the upper radius if you if you know the lower radius if you know the height of the first term then you can easily find out the volume of the whole first term and which we get 1 by 3 pi h r1 square r2 square plus r1 r2 and one more thing i'm telling you here you can convert you know uh, something more uh, an easy way to understand let's say this is your uh, first term right let's say uh, this this is a circular right so since this is a circle let's say this is uh, this circle's area is a1 which is pi r1 square and this is upper circle let's say this is uh, a2 surface area of this will be a2 and that will be pi r2 square so what you can do now the volume is going to be 1 by 3 and i'm writing here h and i'm putting this pi inside so it will be pi r1 square and this pi will by r2 so it will be pi r2 square and then again uh, this is pi will by this pi r1 r2 all right now here we can't do anything in this case uh, let's write here first 1 by 3 h this pi r1 square i can write as a a1 and pi r2 i can write as a a2 and this is something like this now see what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to write pi r1 square times pi r2 square all right and I will write inside the root so if I'm squaring you know I, 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 I squared it and if I'll cut the root you know if I'll cut this and this this and this and pi and pi pi square it will be so it will cut the root all right so so uh, I can write like this all right then the volume of the first term is going to be h over 3 area of the lower uh, circle plus area of the upper circle plus under root area of the lower circle times area of the upper circle this is the volume of the first term all right I hope you understand how to find the volume of the first term uh, it, it becomes a very lengthy you know so uh, I'm sorry if you get bored. Rest of this uh, lateral surface area, that is curved surface area, and the total surface area we're going to cover in the uh, next video, right? See you in the next video. Goodbye.